Did you find yourself? What are you looking at? Um, I was just telling the girls about a little spiritual retreat. Are you gonna go? I mean, maybe. I've been telling you I needed something like this. Maybe it's a sign. You wanna bang or? Um, can we later? I actually just wanna call my friends and ask them if they wanna come. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Of course. I love you. Love you too. Time to get our chakras aligned, bitches. Wait, Sammy, <laughs> you're in. <laughs> Let's see what the pizza guy says. Okay, five dollars. His name is Ted. <laughs> Come on. Hey, how are you girls doing tonight? Quick question: If you were offered twenty thousand dollars to go on a spiritual obstacle course, would you be weirded out? I mean, I guess. Of course, we're gonna say that. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, wait, um, what's your name? Oh, uh, Chris. <laughs> Ted. Uh, I owe you five dollars. <laughs> Chris, like, what? <laughs> Look, if, um, you don't wanna come, or any of you guys, I can go by myself. Summer, of course I'm gonna come, okay? Dude, what's been up with you? I know. You're PMSing. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 
Why does everyone always think I'm PMSing? I just got off mine. That would make sense. We're sinking. We hang out a lot. We're sinking. We're not sinking. We're sinking. We're not we sink. are sinking. It might just be your personality, actually. <laughs> Summer, as I've told you before, dating is like basketball, okay? You are a starting team and our bench warmers. When a starting team member fumbles, you replace them with a the bench warmer. So right now we have Dylan, Jake, Sam, Matt, and... Ethan. Ethan. Ethan's cut. Judson's on the team. No! Wait, Ethan, I love his purple sweaters. Ethan has fumbled, okay? He's dead to us. He's gone. Rest in peace. Judson's on the team. That's how it works. What if I have one team member? <laughs> I came for the cash. And because my mom made me. How's Aunt Sheila? How's her third marriage going? She's great. Yeah, she's all dosed up on our happy pills. So she's doing good. Well, this will be great for you. Yeah. Fun adventure. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a snack. Wait, feel the stress pimple that I have. Okay, no, like, I can't you can feel, see it's it, It's, like, though. huge. No, just touch it. Touch it, touch it. Okay, okay. Ugh, oh, yeah, I do. I feel it. <laughs> I have a chip. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Okay, look, I broke up with Ethan, and I blocked him, and now he's been emailing me, like, please unblock me. I miss you. Hey, Nia! Hey. Girls. Summer, you alive? Yes, I'm alive. She's the queen of ghosting. <laughs> Period. Y'all don't know how bad I need this trip, though. This shit's so needed. Yeah. Which one of you invited Liz? You guys know she's, like, obsessed with my boyfriend. Not me. Correction. You don't trust your boyfriend, and she's cute as fuck, mm. so relax, Summer. Me, nice. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Liz! Hey, guys. Hey! Hi. Hey. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for inviting me. I do not get to hang out with girls that much. So I'm so excited. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be fun, girl. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So we're going to pick you up and around like 6, 6.30. We're going to go pack and hang out. and 6, 6.30 what? OK. Summer, don't. Bye. Summer, like 6, See ya. What? Four Texas. Our cross points and energy fields. I almost okay, elementary vision. Well. Elementary vision. Mm -hmm. Please, we cannot. Okay, it's a place you go to heal, meditate, and explore all parts of yourself. Katie. <laughs> what? So you know I know you. Yes. You ain't down with your feelings, bitch. You're rich no. as fuck, so I why? Am. Why did you come? <laughs> Honestly? Honestly. Okay, one of the losers I'm dating that's on my roster, he made me mad, so I decided to come out here, no service, make him sweat. Guys like when you're mean to them. I'm sorry, Summer. I'm sorry, Nia. I heard vortexes are where you get abducted. Like by aliens? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, by this aliens. is my subject. Okay, so aliens are basically higher versions of ourselves, right? So maybe these vortexes are doorways to other dimensions, like a wormhole. Ah. <laughs> so, this is what I've been talking about, guys. What have been talking about? This is boring. Hey, Daddy. Come in, son. Sit down. Beal, I want you to host the show this week. What? 
Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. Beal, someone has to take over. And you've been chosen. I've told you this before. You have to follow the girls, record and analyze them, and report to our investors and our viewers. We record and update all data to this microphone that will transmit directly to all the dimensions. You got that? I don't think I'm right for this. Why can't they all win? If they all won, we wouldn't get paid. So the less they win, the better. It's all up to them. We are not the bad guys. Any of them could win. All they have to do is the one thing that none of them ever do. OK. What's my job title? Tit. Tit? Tit. A therapist in training. Ah. Bill, I don't want you warning the girls. OK? Record data, report, and then announce the winner. That's all you have to do. Okay? Go. I gotta pee. Like now? Can I stop? Summer. Oh, yes. Yes. Summer. Sorry. I don't know. Hobo. What is he wearing? <laughs> Those pants. <laughs> it's a gypsy. Those are pretty nice pants for a hobo. I think. Be nice. A rich hobo. Alright, I'm playing over. Oh, oh, They got you a holy Bible. Nice. <laughs> uh, can we just get some waters? Hey, hot stuff. What's your fine ass doing on a day like this? Hey, say anything that vile again, and I'll rip your tongue out by your ass, dickhead. <laughs> what? Take a chill pill, honey. I don't swing that way. Was I good? What do you mean, were you good? I do impressions. <laughs> I just do this part time for my uncle. I have my own show here in town. Now what else can I get you ladies? Sorry. Have a magical day. You can do anything you set your mind to if you believe. OK, then. All right. OK. Thirsty. <sighs> Y'all, he was so sweet. What, huh? Uh, <laughs> More <What>? like weird. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. When y'all left your card? That was me. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Thanks. Thank you. No stress. So what y'all doing here from the, the big Los Angeles? <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you know we're from Los Angeles? The, um, the license plate, <laughs> I figured. Oh, yeah. Um, we are on a road trip to Sedona to find ourselves. 
Well, that sounds like loads of fun, doesn't it? Loads. I'm actually from Sedona. Nice. Well, I'm, I moved there about three years ago from Sumter. Well, I, I'm so sorry we have to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, wait. Um, bye. Okay, bye. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> <sighs> Drive fast. <Shit. laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Except for when they make me shit. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, so Summer, mm-hmm. can we get some more info on this trip? <laughs> um, so there's five obstacle courses, and they each have different themes. Forgiveness, love. It's going to be fun. It'll be cool. Nice. It sounds fun. Yeah, so much fun. Hey, oh, my God. Annie, can you please just try to have fun for once and not be a negative loser? Can you try to just, like, maybe... I don't know, date a guy your own age. Fuck hey, you. you guys. Talk was not that much you older. You guys, stop it. That. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'm sensing such bad energy already. From you. No, yeah. no, it's going to be so good, you guys. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Um, we get abducted. Oh, my God. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ah! <laughs> How'd it go? It went. Ass psycho from the dumbass trinket shop. No, but seriously, welcome. Welcome. I am here to guide you gals, oh, women, on a journey of your lifetime. Yeah, I think you said that wrong. I'm guiding you on your gals, women, journey. Nope. This is a journey. And the focus is your lifetime. Past, present, and future. OK. I'm sorry, Hermes. I sacrificed a lot to be here. We all did. That's perfect. You don't get something for nothing. Okay, well, is this the real deal or not? Because if not, we'd like to get going. Ladies, ladies, this is the real deal. You have my word. You guys, we drove like seven hours to get here. I mean, I'm curious, aren't y'all? Shit. That's the spirit. Okay. Okay, each of you go behind a cactus or something and put these on. Ew, why? It's symbolic. Now go. We're losing light, ladies. All right, girls. Looking like a bunch of semi-fresh daisies. Cute little white lambs. The fuck is this peasant shit? <laughs> All right. Follow me to course one, where I will explain more. 
So, are you gonna tell her? Yeah. Okay. You okay? Yeah. I'm just smelling the sunlight. Girls. Bones. Absolutely not. Oh, oh my god, I forgot mine in the... I, I forgot my backpack. You'll get them back at the end of the trip. You won't have service anyway. Fuck no. Danny, I mean, we got proof that we're out here on our phones. Nobody's gonna murder us. Don't you want, want the prize? Time? Prize? Girls, this is more than just a prize. These are gifts from the universe we're talking about here, people. Whatever, I need the money. Right. Oh, and I also need your snacks. You girls will be fasting throughout this process. Oh, not my Cheetos. Uh, Annie gets low blood sugar, she'll pass out. Mm -mm. Yeah, hell no. Mm -mm. I need my snacks. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It's gonna be worth it. This is the beginning of hot girl summer, fall, spring, and winter, people. All the famous models do this. Hello, my dear friend. Hey, Geppetto. Off to the course today. <laughs> yep. Third time this week. Hmm. And who are these lovely ladies? Um, I'm Katie, and this is Summer, Nia, Liz, and Annie. <laughs> Hi. May I give a word of advice? Sure. Always follow your hearts. And forgive, 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 especially yourselves. <laughs> well, I'm off to play my didge on top of the hill. <laughs> Jumbo! <laughs> Ah, each girl has made their decision. And now, they're off to course one. There's no going back now. since the first moment you stepped foot in this desert. This exercise is called I Hate It When You. Let's start with you. Me? Pick someone and tell them what you hate about them. Oh, and if you are not honest, I will know. <laughs> I read your files. Let's just get through this part, shall we? OK. 
Okay. Um, Annie. I hate when you act like you're too cool. Keep going. I know that you don't like me, but I like you and it sucks because we're family and I just, just want to be friends with you. Cool. Can I go now? Katie, I hate it when you drag me along this filler to your stupid activities with you. I know you don't actually like me or know anything about me for that matter. You can't do anything alone, it's pathetic. You're such a bitch. Liz. <clears throat> I hate it when you're not honest. <clears throat> what are you talking about? I think you know what I'm talking about. This is awkward. Um, Summer. Me? What? Summer chill. No. What do you hate about me, Liz? Nothing. I actually like you. Um, I don't think you see how beautiful you are. Okay, but I do have something that I need to tell you. <sighs> Last week, James, he hit me up in my DMs, and he started sending me hearts, and I thought he was just being nice, and it was super casual. But then I saw you guys at that party, and um, he grabbed my arm when I was going to the bathroom. Is this a fucking joke? Let her finish. She told me to tell you right away. I just didn't know how, and you know, I don't really know you that well. And I didn't want you to hate me, and I didn't want to ruin anything between you guys. So I, I didn't know what to say. So what did you do? Nothing. Listen, I, I don't even like men. Wait, what? And I'm so tired of hiding that from you guys, and I'm so tired of these guys who think that they can do that kind of shit. And I'm really fucking tired of girls who hate me for absolutely no reason. <sighs> you know, I just want to sleep in the car tonight. I don't even want to be around you guys. Just give me the keys. Can I please have the keys? Summer, give the girl your keys. Liz, Bye. wait. And don't follow her. Great job, ladies. Now that is what I'm talking about. Awesome. I feel really closer to you guys now. <laughs> the point of this exercise was to show how you are all mirrors of each other. The easiest way to figure out what we hate in ourselves, it's to figure out what we hate in others. It's all a projection. We see what we want and what we are. And we are all one. What's that quote? What's that quote? Oh, each of us must turn inward and destroy in himself all that he thinks he must destroy in others. This is good stuff right here. Leviticus 2013 clearly states that if a man also lie with mankind the way he lieth with a woman, then they both are committing an abomination. They shall surely be put to death and their blood be upon them. When I turn to my Bible, it tells me things that I should be doing mm. right and it should be telling you the same. Uh, praise him. This is good. One of my favorite chapters in my Bible states that the demons inside of all of us come out and try to make you think impure thoughts. 
Please, I'm talking to you. Please. I'm seeing all of your thoughts and so is he. The panic is 2013. Please, I'm surely to put to death. <laughs> and it's all in the Is it a bomb nice? What does being connected really feel like? Like, being really connected? I don't know, Summer. I need to tell you something about Annie. What? Um, last summer, she tried to kill herself. Her mom walked in and I guess she had taken too many pills and she was laying on the floor with foam coming out of her mouth and emo music blasting and we still don't know why, but... She annoys the shit out of me, but I hope that she's one of the ones who gets it. She will. No. You wanna know something else that's crazy? Hmm. I'm actually glad James cheated on me, so I can finally leave him. I didn't actually cheat on you, Saul. So. <sighs> yeah, he did. You know, I never would've guessed it. Hmm? Liz? Oh, yeah. I mean, she told me like three weeks ago. Fuck. I should probably go look for her. What were you girlies talking about? <clears throat> Secretive group, aren't we? Okay. Monologue time. Mm. First, a question What are we in right now? Deep shit. <laughs> In dark. Great summer. Darkness. We have been reflecting, looking outward at each other and ourselves. Tomorrow we turn inward. Listen. Meditate. Receive. This is where the magic lies. To initiate this transition, we'll use the darkness of the night. Reflections create a barrier. They prevent you from passing through to the other side. What's the other side? Your new life. A newer, brighter, lighter you. Some people call it enlightenment. Personally, I like to call it enlightenment. <laughs> Clever. So why do we have to, like, go through the dark to get to this new side? Did you girls know that most plants grow faster at night? Darkness absorbs. Without light, there is no reflection. If we absorb or listen, we are able to find the truth apart from our programming. You need to be lost, unable to see yourselves, not able to think, alone. If there is light, there would be an image or a barrier, making it impossible for you to pass. We can, figuratively speaking, walk right through. This darkness, this not knowing, it creates a portal, a gateway to the truth. Once you girls have these experiences, you too, will pass over to the other side.
And now, get some sleep, my girls. Have sweet dreams. Goodbye, my blossoming daisies, my white little lambs. Me, me. Hermes. And Katie, why? Who is this 12 year old? Young soul. I am as old as the dust in the wind. Hermes is gone for now. My name is Inanna. I will be leading you through courses two and three. All right, my little jade eggs. Today, I am going to guide you on a journey of getting in touch with your feminine side. This connection with our bodies, with Mother Earth. This is how we align with nature's intelligence to create our own destinies. First, let's stretch. Stand up and get in a circle. My eggs, please, proceed. There is no judgment. You. You were hurt as a child, yes? I don't know. Who told you not to dance? I don't remember. Dance as if you're that little girl again. Tell her she is safe. You're safe. I want you to be an animal! Enough with this pretty shit. Go in your heart. Find her! Please sit down. You. Nia. Nia. Do you love your mother? Yeah, of course I do. Then why do I sense there's so much hatred in your heart for other women? You don't trust women. Your mother betrayed herself. Dropped all of her dreams for you. You heard this as a child, I assume. Yes? And now, you don't want to settle down. But a part of you does. Yes? Paradoxical, isn't it? No, I don't follow. My dear, once you make a decision about what you want in life, you will start to trust yourself. You will let go of this guilt. Forgive. Then, and only then, will you start to love other women. Your mother did the best she could. Oh, come here, sweet thing. Of course, two is in the bag. As well as Liz. Our decisions, folks, create new dimensions. From darkness, from bitterness, we open a path to new realities. And from that, well, from that knowledge comes a new light. A brighter light. Hmm.
Today is all about connecting with our bodies. We each have an inner goddess within us. Let's see if we can find her. Is there a goddess of the underworld? Because I think that's mine. Annie, I literally cannot with you. Girls, girls, we will have none of that here. We need each other right now. Us women have to stick together, support each other. There's too much hatred in this world between us, and we are going to bring the world together. It feels a lot better to love other women than to hate other women. Liz would have loved this exercise. Annie! What? We were all thinking it. We are going to take three earth breaths. In through the nose, taking in the sun and the earth, and out through the mouth. Back down into the ground. Go. Good, good. Now we are going to say the word Shira over and over softly in our heads, like a cloud. Focus. That is all you will do. Proceed. dark figure and it was loud and you saw her who your goddess wait where the fuck are we this is the center of the earth welcome to mother nature's womb ladies Ew. <sighs> mm -mm. I gotta get out of here why to stay, at least for me. Is this the course where we get drugs? I could really use some drugs right now. And money, but mainly drugs. Oh my god, are you serious right now? I mean, at this point, I kind of need drugs too. If Liz is dead, I'm blaming all of you. What? Why say that? Because. See you, Liz. Summer, that is so fucked up. Very. No, it's not. I'm just speaking my truth for once. Let me live. She's nice. I thought it was funny. Mm. No, yeah, that's super fucked up. Mm -hmm. That's not like it's a horror movie or anything. Mm. <laughs> if anything, it's a sci-fi. Yeah, why say that? Then we die. I'll need you girls to squeeze these into your mouths. What the fuck is this? I thought we were getting drugs. You don't need drugs to see the truth. All you need is lemons. When life gives you lemons, you don't make lemonade. You accept the lemon as it is. You squeeze it into your mouth straight from the source. This is lemon aid. It might burn, but it'll help. Just drink it. Trust it. What you are about to see is in fact the truth can be ugly, rotten, bloody. Creeps in from the deepest caves of your soul. It shows you what you fear most. The 
darkest parts of yourself. Wait, so the lemons are the drugs? No, my dear. The lemons are the initiation. We are in a vortex, a portal. Anything can happen here. As long as you are on this course, the possibilities are endless. So are there any bagel shops on this journey, preferably ones with vegan cream cheese? We're fine. I'm starving. Let's stay. Who are you? Oh, I don't know. This way, my sweet emerald chiclets. Tree is part of a family, you know. Trees are connected by neural networks of fungi. The same fungi that only exists to feed off of dead matter. Isn't it funny how it's death that brings us together? <laughs> the world is changing. Pluto is in Capricorn until 2023. This means that Pluto is forcing an upsurge of awareness of the current patriarchal ruling that uses control, fear, and destructive practices of the industrial world. It is time for a triune society. There is a possibility for a spike in consciousness. I hope and expect that you little eggs take what you learned today and share it with the world. The greatest gift we can give to this earth is the gift of being the truest forms of ourselves. I love you. No, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Are you guys here for the spiritual obstacle course? Spiritual obstacle course? No, I didn't know they were still doing those. We just signed up on an email and now we're here. They also gave us half a lemon. Nice people. Oh, we prefer to do those sorts of things on our own. It's actually our anniversary. Nine years? Genius. How, how did you guys do that? Tell me your secret. Honesty? Forgiveness. Okay, wait, I have a question. So what if your friend slept with your boyfriend? Then what would you do? Oh, stop. Well, then I'd say they did you a favor, sweetie. Well, we should get going back. <laughs> oh, we found a little detour uh, while we were lost. <laughs> That way, and to the left, you'll find a river. Enjoy, girls. Enjoy. Hey, 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 you have any snacks? Oh, gosh, no. We survive on the air. Sorry, sweetie. What? <laughs> okay, fine. Kenny! Let's go. Already, you're not fine. Bitch, Liz, remember? I still don't understand why we haven't looked for her yet. Bring your ass, let's go. Sayonara, bitches! I'm so thirsty. Maybe it'll rain. It's definitely not gonna rain me. <laughs> You're right, it's, it's not. But I can feel everything. And it feels so good. I can see colors, and I can see you. Katie? Katie? Katie. Hey, help! Help! help. help. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? No, no, do you have water? water? Here, Here, drink this. 
Thank you, guys. I'm Nia. This is Katie. What are y'all doing out here? What are you doing out here? We're finding ourselves. Actually, we're getting paid to do this, like, uh, course thingy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <coughs> Oh my God, look, she's bleeding. What's happening? What's happening? You're all gonna die. That's enough, Moon. I apologize. <laughs> we must hey, be wait. on our way. Can y'all help us get out of here? Um, we're looking for our friend. We think she might be like in danger or something. I'm sorry. I cannot. I think this tree is alive. I wish I was a tree. No worries in the world. Yeah, until a machine comes and kills you. Calm down, Bummer. My name is Summer. Mm -hmm. I just wish I didn't need anyone, you know? Like, I really want to need myself. That's scary. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Goodbye, my children. Remember to listen. something yeah shoot. summer shouldn't be mad at Liz she'll get over it she should be mad at me she's just mad because y'all didn't tell her right when it happened I'd be mad too I slept with James <laughs> joking no I'm serious <laughs> it's been like three months now and I mean Liz told her what happened anyway so She's gonna leave him, and I mean, we could be together. Mia, why would you do that to Summer? What the hell? She's like one of our best friends. I mean, he's just gonna cheat on you too, James. No, like... he's he's actually a really good guy. He feels bad about leaving her alone. I mean, she's fucking crazy. So, I mean, Liz told her she. It, he tells me everything. Okay, seriously, why, James? Come on, you could do so much better. Literally, all of you could. You, you think I did this on purpose? I didn't, Katie. She knew I loved him and went for him anyway, so who's really in the wrong? Oh my God. Nia. Nia. Are you here? Al, do you care? You used to be so happy when your father came home. Daddy's little girl. You just run and jump into his arms. I was there every day. I gave everything I had. Your father never cooked your dinner. Ah! Or bought your clothes. I was. And now you hate me? Mom, I, I needed you. I needed you actually here. And you weren't. You are my blood. I purchased you. Me! And you will see. It's not possible. 
possible being perfect. I smiled. <laughs> I smiled so wide until it ripped open my brain and made me crazy. Oh, and that's why I'm here. I was creeping around on some of those online forums, and I was reading about people who come to Sedona for a spiritual journey, and most of them don't have good ones. <laughs> Wait, I thought you didn't know anything about this stuff. Well, so one, the word desert means forsaken, and forsaken means to leave without intending to return. And two, they talk about seeing shadow people, seeing crazed mental hospital patients running around, and some even go missing. <laughs> Did I say anything about Middle Earth? I've always loved Middle Earth. No. <laughs> but look, I'm down for being abducted. I'm not down for being killed by shadow people. Do you feel that? Do you hear that? I think so. <laughs> hey, are we on an anthill? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> What are you thinking about? Aliens. <laughs> There's one. <gasps> it's right there. Oh no. It's gonna get us. <gasps> Why'd you really come on this trip? My mom actually made me. <laughs> she said if I didn't, she would literally kick me out. And I can't really survive alone on a pet store salary, so. Mm. She wants me to get out more, but. I don't know, I like being alone. No one likes being alone all the time. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you remind me of an aunt. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so these ants, they'll follow each other in a straight line all day, looking for food, shelter. <laughs> and then you have the outliers. They'll go off the beaten path. They won't follow these stupid ants, looking for their own food and shelter. But then the ants in the line get lost. They'll starve to death, and then, the outliers, they'll come in and they'll save the day, bringing back food, telling them of their travels. These outcasts, they save the whole fucking community. You're an outlier. That's you.
summer. There is no prize, is there? No. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. So, we have lost Liz and Nia now. They didn't make it. But Katie is coming up on course four, so we'll see how she does. Uh, maybe the rest of them will, will all make it to the end. Let's stay grateful out there, folks. Doesn't taste right. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the fuck is this? We can explain. Where is Nia? I saw one of you freaks take her. Wait, what? Where are Nia and Liz, you loser vampires? <laughs> <laughs> vampires don't exist, bitch. One, we are not vampires. And two, we did not take your friends. I mean, I know this looks weird. It looks a little more than weird. Yes, uh, you're right. Let me explain. I mean, hey, if we did do that to your friends, we could probably catch you too, couldn't mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. Kai, hand me your cup. Mm -hmm. Drink. <laughs> Are you crazy? Sniff it, then drink. Corn syrup, water, food coloring. Listen, I am sure your friends are fine. I've hallucinated some weird shit too out here. Why are you out here drinking fake blood? It's a ritual. We're preparing our physical bodies to enter the etheric realm. The mm -hmm. age of Aquarius. We're resurrecting our spirits for this new age. Mm. You ever feel a shift in your life? You're driving in your car and you're just like, today feels like the start of a new period. You can even smell it. We felt that earlier when we saw you. We share our deepest sins. And then feeling the gravity of that, we experience a spiritual death from which we're cleared to enter a new age of harmony. Mm. Let's make it easy. Tell us something that really causes you pain. Yes, tell us. Really feel what that feels like. And then it'll go away forever. And then we'll let you go. <laughs> Just kidding. Eating. Eating? Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be perfect. Look perfect, act perfect. So controlling my eating was an outlet for me. I thought that if I didn't look a certain way, that no one would love me. Sometimes there was this this monster inside of me, this, this like ugly, disgusting monster. <sighs> Fuck, I can see it. Keep going. <sighs> Sometimes I would lose control. I'd open the door and make sure that my mom wasn't looking. Then I'd tiptoe to the kitchen, as quiet as I could be. I'd open the fridge. I'd eat as many cookies as I could. Then I would feel so guilty. I'd rush to the bathroom and make myself sick. What are you doing, Katie? Sugar gives you acne. A whole plate of cookies? Are you fucking kidding me? Control yourself. I would sit in the bathroom all night worrying and cry myself to sleep. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Sorry guys, that was that was TMI.
What would you say to that younger version of you now? That you're perfect how you are. And I love you. <laughs> Katie? What? Congratulations. On what? For completing course four. Mm. And now, please go that way, or you will find a clearing for course five, your final course. And it is there where you will find your true treasure. Motherfuckers. Wait, where are it, Liz and Nia? Oh, I'm sure you'll see them at the end. <laughs> Idiot. Thought it was real blood. It is. Scare the shit out of me. Do you feel that? No. I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay. See ya. I know your secret. Dad, I can't do this no more. It's too hard. Bill, get your shit together and finish the show. With pride, I say sometimes I wish you were never born. Get your ass up and finish the show. <sighs> yes, Daddy. Howdy, folks. All right, Annie's a goner. So, who will make it? Katie? Summer? Only time will tell. Good job, son. Good job. Now go get ready for the finale.
you've done. Look at you. You're huge. Sugar gives you acne. A whole plate of cookies. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you! There's nothing wrong with me! Why'd you give me away? Why'd you have to do that? I needed you. I needed someone like me. Someone to tell me how to brush my hair, how to dress, how to talk to guys. I felt like an alien my entire life. And you don't know what it feels like. I felt alone the moment I gave you away. You were the only part of me that I loved. Do you think that was easy for me? Are these the stories you tell yourself so you can stay in the exact same place you're in now? That I'm the reason you can't move forward? you find yourself? I think so. Aren't you scared? Go no. on, run. No. Come closer. I'll stay right here. What do you want? I'm dying. Why can I only hear you in my head? I don't speak your language on this physical plane, but I can communicate with you telepathically. I have to kill you. Why? Both of us can't stay in this world. Can't you go back to where you came from? My world is collapsing. It's dark, full of machinery, violence, control, no sensory perception. 
They drowned out nature's voice a long time ago. You see, they discovered something on our plane. The soul and the body are not one and the same. You can transfer the soul into anybody or machine with the right know-how. I need to be here. You are the one that needs to leave. You create your world here. You have God inside of you. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't create this world. But you did. Well, something happened to me when I was younger. I barely had control of that. I didn't create that. I know it. I still feel it every day. Pulling at my throat and my stomach and my womb. And the worst part is I don't even know what it is. All I know is that it drives me insane. And I, I know more than anyone that there's more to life. But it doesn't matter. I still feel this pressure, this darkness over me. Like, every time life gets exciting, it pulls me back. Do you want it to stop? give that to you, all of your suffering will end. We are happy to announce Summer as our newest winner. All right, guys. Thank you for having me as your host. Tune in again next week. Bye-bye.
Speak, cannot speak about.